Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 164. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Magic Tricks 155 to 167. Hey, Trick 164, we are going to figure out uh, the price for shipping, and we're going to use the if and ceiling functions. Now here's the deal. We have a weight of kilos, 1.1, and the structure of pricing is $16 for the first one half kilo and $10.50 for every increment of half kilo. And since um, we're shipping, we're always going to round up, or the pricing structure here always requires that we round up. So 1.1 here needs to be rounded up to the nearest 0.5, and that's where the ceiling function comes in, because this really needs to be 1.5. So 1.1 gets rounded up to the next uh, 0.5. If this was 1.6, it would be rounded up to 2. So really, our price is eventually going to be, first, if this is 1.5, It'll be 16 plus 2 times 1050. Now we want a function, a formula that will do this. So if, and we're going to say our weight is less than or equal to the first kilo, which means if this is true, it's 0.5 or less. And if that's true, it's simply the $16. Otherwise, and this is where we have to use our ceiling function. Ceiling. The ceiling function it requires a number and then the significance. Well, here's our 1.1, and we've already used up 0.5 from our first. So uh, initially, we need to take whatever our weight is minus the first 0.5 kilo that we've already used up. And we need to round that amount up. So we hit a comma, and the significance is the amount, so 0.5, 0.5. So the only numbers that will pop out from the ceiling function are uh, 0.51, 1.52, 2.5, et cetera. Now, let's just see um, by highlighting this and hitting our F9 key what it is. And it better be 1, right? Because 1.1 and subtract the first 0.5 kilo is 0.6, and that rounded up should be 1. So if I hit F9, sure enough, it's 1. Control Z to undo that. Now, there's our 1. One, pound, one kilo, right? Well, there's 2.5s in one, so we need to divide whatever the ceiling answer is by all of the, uh, the 0.5 for the second kilo. Now, let's see what that is, and it should be 2, right? F9, and sure enough, it's 2, and that's exactly what we want. We have $10.50 for every half kilo over the first half kilo, so there's two of them, so that should evaluate to 2. Control Z. And then I'm going to multiply it finally times the 1050. Now, actually, I left one thing out because, oops, if you highlight all of this right here and hit F9, that's only 21. That's only the two uh, extra half kilos over the first one. So I'm going to Control Z, and I forgot I need to add the $16 plus. So now we should get uh, the answer F9, and it would be 37, Control Z. I'm going to put a close parenthesis. Again, for the, the anything ab above the first 0.5, we need the $16 plus whatever the extra amount is over the first half kilo. I'm going to hit Enter. $7. And let's test it. Let's test uh, 0.4, and this should be 16. Let's test 0.5. It should be 16. Let's test 0.6, and that should be what are 16 plus 1050, which is 2650. 1.6, that should be 47.50. All right, there you go. A little bit about uh, the if ceiling and pricing. We'll see you next trick.